fun second chat and just kind of see any other option for um one. no no it doesn't work You just don't offing. Oh, you're delayed. Alright, one second. I have to... Wait. Can you not? No, you just went <laughs> That's better. Sorry about that. Alright. I might as well begin. So I still my screen but we're just gonna
So I can't leave the stream open, but I'm pretty sure I could just switch to Twitch whenever I whenever I need to um, look at something. This is for like a, a few seconds based on how the conversation's going. So it isn't that long. Alright, I'm gonna start my stream now. Alright, am I on screen? Did I actually put Grease over me? I think I... No, I couldn't have. Anyway, sorry about that, chat. <clears throat> my the my Mohili, it's your favorite Druid. All of all. And today I have and today we're going to be practicing art. And for a special guest, I've abducted my friend, Honkon350, in order for her to teach me how to do anatomy or the basics of anatomy, because I'm I'm definitely not gonna master it in one lesson. This will be my second ever lesson. I have to say this, so Connie isn't horrified by my art skills. I mean we all it starts somewhere. Hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I I guess when we start with like very basic, basic starting like with with how bodies are usually drawn in general, quote unquote, the rule mm -hmm. of of thumb is bodies are like eight heads high. No one really oh shit usually I measures. I did not set but... my docs. <laughs> you didn't set your what? I did not change my stream title. Uh -huh. Sorry about that. I'll probably I'll... be in VC later. See you, Junior. Huh? Oh, the other got me minimized. That's why. I... Okay. I do exist. It's just. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that shit. I just have to remember what the fuck I was doing. Alright, I think this is good. Sorry about that. Bit of a scuff stream. Oh no. Alright. Sorry, what were you saying, Connie? I like completely cut you off. Um basic um like uh First rule of anatomy is like for proportions. You want to make sure bodies always proportion, which in general, bodies are about eight heads high. So mm -hmm. you, if you wanted to, you would you would not really necessary because no one really does this. But I guess if you're first learning out, you would you would start off with your your first like the head right here, and then you would measure it out same length down like one however many down 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 to like eight heads high because in general that's how bodies are proportioned for um um anatomy i see okay and that's just to like keep things proportioned and stuff like that and same thing like there's certain like little tricks that you'll learn of certain body parts where you'll learn like for example for like humans in general when you're especially when you're drawing like someone with their arms down by their side um essentially usually their hands usually go around to their like mid thigh which is one like important thing to like um make sure you're like a person looks like a actual person Sometimes people will draw the uh, arms. Of course, you can have stylistic choices, but if you're just talking about wanting to make something look, in general, like, um, more... Because oftentimes people, like, look at their art and be like, why does this look weird? It might be just because their proportions may be a little bit off or whatever it is. But yeah, for for that, like, you're, you would want arms down to, like, mid-thigh. I can draw, like, a, a quick, like, example, I guess. For, for this you'd want your your person to have like um their hands like right here for their thighs or whatever but that's just like a very oh, quick see. thing of course the, this is just one way that you can draw out 
to get um like your your all your um like basics sketch out so it's usually like called like blocking like if you what some people do it depends you can either if you if you if you can visually do things you can usually just like block things off where where you have like a person doing like a certain pose or something and then you can just like draw it like that or if you need to you can always um take a picture or like have a reference picture let me pull it up and what um some people do is they they take a picture and they do this thing called blocking and they kind of sh map out how the body looks to help them get their like proportions right oh, i see yeah. you can kind of see better if you ever need a like a reference picture or something like that just getting down a quick sketch of that you kind of see how everything like works together interesting yeah there's just many different ways and i think one of the best ways i learned to practice getting like proportions and and stuff down if you have a picture that you really like there's this way of drawing called gesture drawing and um i think if you just continuously like the, i think the biggest thing about drawing is just practicing that's the only way to like actually get things down versus like because people get very frustrated and be like i'm not good at it i'm just going to stop now if you just do practice uh then you can learn how to do things but if we take this picture for example and um where is my pen you kind of do everything in like one gesture where where you're kind of like figuring everything out just and it doesn't have to be oh oh no i think you... oh did i just lag out man i really hope my wife i didn't just die that'd be awful hello hello Sorry, my Wi-Fi has a habit of just, like, dying randomly. Uh, I see. Uh, it doesn't normally the do OBS that, but died it did too, don't worry. earlier today. My OBS died? My OBS died. Oh, okay. It's evil, Connie. She's she's attacking us. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Alright. Maybe it was your Wi-Fi that died. Maybe I was No, fine. I everything else was good. My OBS was fine. My OBS just lagged up. Uh, if my Wi-Fi died, my other things would have crashed for sure. But no. Check my, I, I hope she's I, I hope mm -hmm. Connie's now on stream with Krita. It's very annoying to use the display capture. I can't tell what the, the fuck's going on with, like, Connie's little foogie. I have no clue what she's doing. You have no clue what I'm doing? Well, I... I just shifted, like, my Discord fo foogie. Because I put the group foogie, like, hidden in case, like, Alex or Yeridan joins. Because they have special foogies, right? So, I just shifted that up. You should be on stream, but I have no idea how large you are. Or, like, uh -huh. how tall. Because every time I look over at my OBS, it just sh it just copies the OBS over and over, and I can't see the end of it. Also, keep in mind that I, I, I'm fairly slow at art, because I, have to, I use a mouth, so I have to use weighted or stabilized. Uh, brushes and um it takes me a moment to even do like one clear line but for now while we wait for Connie to restart them. chat well uh, let's just try making a model my stream's already up again <laughs> Connie's stream is up oh, it's been up for, it, up for a while <laughs> oh no I accidentally didn't refresh the screen when Connie was there oh dear God damn it, I keep pressing OBS. I missed him usually. 
Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. Make... Do you have a particular pose that you wanted to try to work on? Um, not exactly. We have one second. I have to scroll through my like personal. Excuse me. I have to scroll through my personal files live on stream. I miss some issues. I mean, I could try. Congrats on first S. You know that artwork, mm-hmm. Alex. Uh, I don't know if you were there actually. It might have just done it on his own. But you know that artwork that Alex made of me, Yeri, and himself underneath that tree. Uh, yeah. I kind of want to make that one again, or like my version of that one. Make- Actually, did you see the artwork, um, I, the first artwork I made of, like, Alex? No. I see. You should. I, I I have it somewhere in here. I know I do because I sent it to Alex. Here we are. I called it the uh, uh, Alex Abomination because it's an abomination. It's on my stream if you did you s- oh it's on your stream yeah i i, I don't i i want to limit how much how many things i open because you know display capture it's one interesting thing is yeah it's, I mean, it's not bad i noticed that my um lines are actually smoother than Alex's because I can only draw in weighted and stabilizer so I can only draw a singular line <laughs> yeah that's a difference you will have the freedom of making uh as many lines and having the more I think that's the biggest problem that you're gonna have um I mean I can't really help you there uh uh, you won't be able to have like much freedom with kind of making jester drawings or kind of not really like um yeah. or kind of like having the freedom to do that type of stuff so then I think I finally have a head that's to a scale there you go yeah then you... yeah it, it sucks but mm, I, I don't know if I can do much really yeah. Just a side of my poverty. I cannot afford drawing tablet. Yeah. How does Connie? Oh, Connie doesn't have that. Thing. Okay. Um, is it then a circle where the shoulder would be? Oh uh, yeah. Every joint is like a circle. Okay, focus. <laughs> and hands are also a circle, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll have to make it another way. Hmm. There we have a chat. I drew papyrus. <laughs> I think I missed 
doesn't the stomach have a circle on it or something yeah in the middle oh right um i just opened obs again hmm We're just gonna. Oh, they're one nice thing. So I get to be really accurate whenever I um erase things. Preparing for Konyoki. I'm just humming right now. It'll be fun. Are you working on a particular pose? Um, I just did it with his arms crossed because I, I thought it would be funny. And I didn't okay. want to begin with what uh, Alex's art pose was like because it, it doesn't have the full body, you know? Alex's artwork only has his upper half. I mean, I could try it in a different layer. Okay, so here's, here's the body that I created. Um, I call it Papyrus, except he's fat. Uh, okay, I see. Mm, okay. Um... That's... I will say it's not like... The way that you did the proportions are a little off with how yeah. you it's not really supposed to be a line in the middle it's just supposed to be like um, um a giant like joint in the middle there to show you like kind of directionally which way a person is kind of facing oh i see yeah um i might have forgotten that's okay yeah uh, memory memory loss or no But uh, you can kind of, then afterwards, what you kind of do is you kind of use it as a guide to help you follow the proportions of what you, you need for a person's um, body. Oh, I see. So it's like, yeah, okay. That makes more sense. In a way. Hmm. I do actually have goals. What were my goals for art? Uh, I think it was number one, remaking this artwork with Alex. Number two, drawing Bird on my own. And number three, drawing Alex a bunch of emotes. Because this channel. You don't want to do the Alex emotes. He's not going to use them. <laughs> he'll probably not ever use them. He'll, he'll use them if I make them. I don't think so. It's, it's I think the only time he's talked about emotes it was was asking one particular person to draw them. Yeah, but like, he even asked me to draw them, which is yeah. But like, honey, you have to understand the way to get to Alex is literally just to dangle your friendship in front of him. He'll do something if it, if his friend make it. He'll use emotes if his friend makes it for him. I don't want to sound like I'm being like cruel to Alex. I'm just saying that he 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 would genuinely use the emotes if I make them because you know we're friends. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not worried about him like uh, 
rejecting them and going, oh, this is awful, all of you should die. But he, he wouldn't say that. No, he wouldn't say that, but I'm not sure if he'll actually use them. <laughs> uh, I feel like he would. I feel like I feel like that's a, that's an Alex original. Maybe he just likes me more. No. Um. Okay, so we have to now connect the dots, right? Is that what we're doing? Um. Yeah. Use it as a guide to like make your body proportionate to everything. Okay, so that's how that works. Right, and then if I were to... Do you exist here? So if I move you... Okay. So I have to go... Wow. And I would just... Alright, cool. Alright, so that's how layers work. I, I just learned how layers work. I don't know how Kita works, so I won't be, have any advice there. I've never used it. I got Krita because that was the only program I saw of a mouse tutorial and I needed to learn how to use a mouse. So I, I just used whatever came first. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hmm. I should change the color of this brush because I have no idea what color it would be. Um, this brush didn't change the color at all. But what, what freaking color am I using? Okay, there we go. There we go, that, that works better. thinking chat because uh, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I used to practice just, just kind of sketch over it and, and figure out how that's why I said a reference picture is important because if like like if you don't really know what you're drawing uh, then, then you're not gonna really have anything to like go off of. Yeah, but I can't I can't search for this picture right now. Streams are my bad. Okay, so just copying Connie. But... No, that's this is, this is it. Hmm. 
doing Sans Papyrus might have been the more difficult option. Ah, the hip, the knees are facing each other. Now it looks like he's scared. And yeah. So at what point do I charge like $300 uh, a piece exactly? Um... <laughs> I mean, it's your own call. Did you know that? It's all up to artists to uh, decide their prices. Oh, so at any point, technically. No, it's just valuing your art. You gotta have to figure out what you think your art's worth. Okay, so we somewhat have a human form, I think. This is too close. I just need to work out how to do hands, because he's sitting cross-armed, and I don't actually know. Which arm's going over which? This arm's going over that arm. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do um, fingers, specifically. I think I might struggle with that forever, because, you know. I think the brush you're using is definitely too big. It well, doesn't help. It, <laughs> I just mean, like, the brush is extremely slow. Yeah, but also it doesn't help that you're using a giant brush, so oh, you're not gonna. Brush is I don't gorgeous. know what figure. Yeah, you probably want to yeah. change the size of the the brush. Well, okay. I mean, you can't. You're already doing a thick line art. You might as well stick with it. <laughs> Behold, I, I uh, would suggest like a man, but like terribly done, man. You know who this looks like? I don't know. <laughs> your... Your mama. I see I have a child in the call. <laughs> it's funny. Man, like I did the arm so that the non-Euclidean... Alright, chat. We're gonna redo this part, I think. This increased our brush to gigantic levels and um, literally everything. We need to restart. That's all right. 
can make the brush slightly yeah. smaller so that it's easier, me thinks. There's a little bit more room for error. Okay, so we can't do this. Redrawing Paris's myths chat. We're fixing his non Euclidean hands. Oops. The price that I can stop drawing midway through and then come back and it looks like nothing even happened. Are you telling me? Uh, yeah, I, well, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> Are you telling Chad? I, I'm telling both. <laughs> I don't think anyone's in my stream right now. <laughs> What size brush do you normally use, Connie? Uh, it depends. Just whatever I have there, ten usually, maybe. Oh yeah. It just yeah, depends but... on the purpose that you need. <laughs> I, right. I think it's because. Like... We've yet again mm -hmm. redrawn the wonky man. He's full of wonkiness. So how does... So what do you do after, like, the first one? Do you just keep doing it? Yeah, it's it's all about practicing for proportions, like, figuring things out. Uh, like, that's the only way for you to, like, get down anatomy, is just to practice drawing different poses and, and you know, being able to, 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 like, get down, like, different proportions. I, see. I would not say, like, don't try something too hard, but, yeah. I mean, one second, let me just hide you. We could, I could try tracing over the, um, Alex screen to get his proportions at the very least. I 
mean, yeah, you could start off with tracing. That always works, but you know. At least I think Alex's art is proportional. It looks proportional. A bit small though. <laughs> I think this is an appropriate thickness to try and forcefully. Mm -hmm. If we go by Axe's head, it sort of looks like. This, and then it goes by. This goes straight down into this collar. Okay, that's interesting. And then he's a bit wonky, actually. But it should be something like from here and then from here he has more of a slope and he goes. He has very hard angles, which you can't really do without dropping. Sort of goes down, he goes over, and then goes to his arm. <laughs> yeah, so it appears like I don't know what brush Alex used exactly, but um. The general proportion seems to be four point something on Krita. You probably even want to make it smaller than that. Uh, it's just the brush that Alex used. So. I'm just trying to keep that, keep the proportion. Oh no, I'm just saying, if you just make it even, because he used a pretty small brush there, it seems like. I'm not sure. And it, maybe he was using a sketch brush there. Probably. It does seem quite scratchy. And he has these tiny baby hands, because he's tiny baby hand Alec. They should actually be something around. I don't know, if his hand did that, then it should be like... Correct. It's been like... You see, for this pose right here, it's a very interesting one. Very dynamic pose. It'd be hard to draw this. Kind of making a block map of uh, this pose would helps a lot see how how the pose is supposed to look oh that's way too large I, mean, I guess this sort of directly cuts off but it should be something a lot more like in here Okay, so if we hide Alex out of J, we have a sort of body. Top of his head was hidden by Yeri. Okay. So now that we have this, um, I don't know what to do next, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, chat. I swear. How many heads should this be in theory? About two. Two or three heads. So. Oh, okay. If I just make it fit. Actually, we'll, we'll create yet another layer. No, 
Yes, yes, we will. Okay, we'll put it here. We'll put this on this layer. Well, I want to teach you. I don't think you'll be able to do because I know your brushes are on full stabilization. But if you ever do want to, like, I guess, practice more, like, I guess, on paper, you would be able to kind of do what I'm saying versus actually, like, having, uh, I just you wait. Know. That's fast, though. But I can't use basic because then it'll... I... What the fuck is my brush? What? Okay. Here it is. Did we just design three heads? And I switch back to stabilize because holy shit, that is really annoying to draw with. I would just say. Okay, so here's his head one, so his head should be about here. And then we have his neck. And then his head should be here. Is there the top half of Alex that I have to draw, which is good enough? And then we'll draw his torso, and it's facing that way. And his arm is very simple, it's sort of like Oh, it's pretty good, actually. We have first uh, over there. Arm goes like this, and then his arm goes like it. And we're ignoring Gary and me because that's the whole other complex. Um, how does his arm go? So it goes sort of like down here, and then it comes around. Uh, I don't remember his picture. I mean, you can always do your own version of it. Just you have to follow it to a T. I know. I'm just doing the posing for it because you know, I, well, not following it to a T. Yeah, yeah which is fine. Um, and then in fact, hand, like the right. proportions that you have there are pretty, pretty decent, probably because of the perspective mm -hmm. of it. Thank you. All right, we uh, we must now learn how to. All right. Let's just double check that's correct. It is correct. All right. Max has a very sharp chin in his art, and I think also in character. I don't know how sharp his chin is, it's something I didn't pay attention to. I think the hardest part about Alex um, is that he doesn't have a nose. Why is that the hardest part? Um, specifically for the artwork you saw, I was using a, a, a Celtic technique of drawing the eyebrows. Which has the eyebrows going into the nose, but Alex didn't have a nose. So I just didn't know what to do. Thank you for the hydrate. Oh, I'll hydrate too. I just need a second to draw this. Oh. To draw this big head. I'll, I'll get... Yeah, you I'll... probably can't really use the Celtic technique there, but... I, mean, I guess know. you could draw a nose for him and just be a stylistic choice. I don't think it would work. The noses I was using for was, um... You just got home. Finally a found a new pair of jeans. New jeans? <laughs> wow. So cool. Whatever is going on there. Um, Alex is facing... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sleep. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I think there's something on my mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's... Of course. Okay. Uh, oh. You know, there's different spectrums in this world when you hear new genes, you know? 
Uh, I kind of need to make more of a guideline for the middle of the face right here. And probably right here. If I had to guess where the eyes would be. I don't think this is right. One second. Uh, it should uh, be. Uh, 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 this is. Back for neck, it kind of depends what you're making. Like, if you're trying to go for more anime style, of course, the neck is going to be much smaller. If you're going for more proportionate, it's going to have, like, you know. If you're be... a YouTuber, you have to make sure the neck is really long. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm just, that... I'm just making this. I'm, I, well, I found this pose, and I'm making myself in this pose now. I noticed that after watching some VTubers, VTuber heads are sort of like bubble heads. Kind of. They are. Well, that's what anime is. <laughs> Most of the time. A really large head and like a tiny neck that moves around. Okay. Now we just have to... Yeah. Uh, if off stream, I would suggest practicing blocking. Just finding a bunch of different, like, like real life poses of people, and then practice mm. like kind of guiding and tracing. Not like necessarily tracing over, but like you know, kind of making um um a guide over and seeing how the proportions work. That way, next time I can like call myself the master or something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Unless you like practice like every single second, sure. <laughs> ah. I've heard hands are difficult to draw. It depends on the person. Um, I don't really enjoy them that much. I used to be okay with them because I drew them a lot for cla of classes, but um, oh, kind of out of practice now. How did Axe's fingers go? Because they were holding me. And I might as well do the funny finger pose. Uh, if I can do the funny thing. We we're drawing a cube today. <laughs> Looks a little bit like Alex is giving the finger, but you know, it's how it's going to have to be. This looks like a thumb pointing out. Ah. Good. Right. All right. It's, this is the the pose, I guess. Guess. All right. This is the pose I declare. So what do I do after the pose? What, what do I what do I do now? Because I I can't like trace over it a million times. In fact, oh I yeah, no, but even if you I could can start if you want to work on detailing like clothing and stuff, you can do that. Unless you want to work on another anatomy pose. Uh, it takes a while to one second. You're just okay. It takes a while to get through a pose. It's not very fast and fluid. Yeah, I think it's because the way the way you're doing it is not fast. Uh, um, I know. The fastest, maybe 
That's uh, too basic. How would it actually go? Uh, if you were to do it like how I, basic? Well, because I, the way that you're supposed to do things is if you take a, like a, like a look at my stream in general with like, let me close, close this off. You hey, like chat, to look at a pose. Watch them on. Um, the, the way that you want to do it is not like, um, like doing like very blocky. You can do it like that. It, it's like very quick, but I was just saying doing like general gestures and just doing it like very quickly is like the best way to like follow, like, like follow with how poses are supposed to be like very loose movements, you know, not really like trying to be precise about anything because you're just trying to get something down. But then it afterwards, after you like figure everything out like oh wow this goes here and this goes here and blah 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 and all that type of stuff then you can be more precise with everything and i think just practicing that with different poses uh not being like too like precise with it is is very important it's not that i'm being because if you're always worried if you, you if you're starting off with art and you're always worried about like oh am i doing this right it's not gonna help you a lot just figuring out, hey, it's okay to make this mistake. Let me just keep going with this, even though I don't like it. I'm going to keep going and, and just see where it takes me. And I, I, can, I can go back and fix it if it still looks bad, you know, that type mm. of thing. I don't know. It's, it's less that I... Um... Oh, my brain shut down again. It's less that I want to be precise and more that I can't not be precise. If that makes sense. Because, because you know, of your brush. Yeah, the brush is extremely slow, methodical. Yeah. Yeah, might as well drop Annie in and see if we can... Anatomy Annie. It might be a little bit hard with that one, because her clothes are very loose. But mm. you could try. Well, it's not uh, like Especially, like, when you're looking so at... Yeah, when you're looking at reference pictures of uh, looser clothes, it's going to be very different. Because you can't really see what what's on, like, you know, what it, the pose actually looks like underneath. But you can, mm -hmm. I'm sure you can kind of figure it out. It's just the only Annie picture I had because I didn't want to put the other Annie picture onto my uh, stream when I was doing the poem about her. I mean, you could try doing it with a basic brush. I just don't think it's going to help because of how mouses are. Am I in the, oh, I'm in a race. Why am I in a race? Oh, whoops. Okay. It's this one. What, what, what day am I drawing on? One second. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a very luscious hair. Damn, I didn't recognize how lush her hair is. Okay, I, I guess we're going to have to work with that one, chat. Mm -hmm. Let's say, based on this, that it just is about here. Okay, 
because we're like oh, that's a shoulder there i'd say enemy's anatomy is fairly simple actually because while it does have very loose fitting bits it's also very easy to tell where her arms are like her shoulder should be theoretically somewhere about here I mean, her elbow is about somewhere where her... ...thing changes. And I think that's why it goes inwards here. Second ever class on crazy fucking Annie. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, thankfully we have world class artist Connie 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 Son Connison. Mm. What is those lines in the middle of the face mean? Is that like the middle of her her nose and her eyes, is it? Um basically to tell you where your the um, where your nose and and your mouth would line up to oh mouth not and the eyes. also like uh, yeah in general rule is like when you're drawing a face and you you're working on trying to make it look like a normal human face in general people would start off with a circle if you don't have any reference and then you draw the line where you would want them facing the direction that they they look down and about like halfway through the face is where the eyes would be and then another like um halfway down the face is like oh that's where the nose would be and then the mouth would be like right here or something and you get to s make your face and stuff like that oh it does on the nose line as well there's two okay i've only ever drawn one oh well you don't have to draw from the nose like in general you it helps a lot to keep everything exactly where you need it um, let me redo it, but, um, because if you look with how faces are structured, especially with the, how eyes are, eyes are about, like, um, wow, that's, where oh, did you put the, speech. was that for it's, her nose? Uh, yeah, that's where her nose is. Okay. Sorry, let me. Generally, speak. you do it for the eyes, that's the, like, main thing. That you you sketch out for it, but yeah, you, with faces, let's say it's like this or something. Annie's face is very. You'd long have your head. eye line, and then, then you have your nose line, and you can do for the bottom of the lip line, but you don't necessarily have to. Oh, there is an eye line. Okay. There's always an eye line. Damn it! That's the main let me, line. Let me just. <laughs> Okay. Because the eyes are like chat. central to your to your face. That's the main thing to that you look at. Okay. So something like this then? Yeah. And you don't have to necessarily and there would be a and with VTubers it doesn't it sometimes can work, but um Damn, uh, VTubers have really with big with, with real life Eh, not necessarily. Yeah, I think you just drew your <laughs> proportions. You drew the back of the head very big. <laughs> oh yeah, look where it goes. I drew it smaller not than really. the actual Usually, head. well, bangs? Okay, no. <laughs> That's not how really heads work, but... What do you mean? I have long hair. This is just a whole other that. lesson with crazy skulls. Do you want to... I could have you... This is just a whole nother lesson where you learn. I you should learn how you should look at how a school looks and and maybe draw it some day. I mean, <laughs> I I will have to inevitably draw severed heads, but still, like I know how hair works because I have long hair. Yeah, but this should with happen with bangs too. Head. With how, bangs in general. Where bangs line up, it would probably be way lower than where you have her head at. Like, um, 
I don't know how to explain it, but you... <sighs> the way that her bangs are, uh... Yeah, I do fantasy not her ha brain. hair hair hairline would be much lower than that. <laughs> Well, she has a big forehead, and it's just, she, she doesn't have a toggle for her bangs, so I wouldn't be able to tell you, but... I would guess it's not that large, though. I think Danny has a bald toggle. You just toggle. drew a little large. Well, a bald toggle is different than bangs up. Bald toggle is just oh, cute, all Danny. forehead, because if you technically think about it, it's just all forehead at that point. Okay. How do I obsessively... Now, how do I get... Who am I drawing in this, even? Hmm? I guess, but this is the pose, generally, that Annie has in this picture that I took of her. Without her knowing. Yeah, the general gist of it. No, focus. I think I just drew a line in this one. I don't think I even knew what the lines meant. I guess I'll draw another anatomy pose. Let me look through my... Um... Uh, that's a bird. I don't think we can draw a bird. Yeah, that's a different, a completely like, different lesson. Oh, I, mean, I guess you could, face. but it just doesn't really work. <laughs> Okay, we can draw Alex. Why not? Is there a way to... Alex is just the head. Right here. Well, I mean, then you can work on proportions about the face. True, but he doesn't have a nose. Well, you can figure it out then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, it's not too hard. It's so amusing to me when I first realized that Alex really just doesn't... He has doesn't even have, like, a line or a speck. He just doesn't have a nose, period. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I have so to actually make my handkerchief. So it's a circle and then you add the chin, right? Hmm? It's a circle and then you add the Do you chin. want me to teach you how to draw faces? Let me uh, get this picture up again. Sure. Let's see. I'll just, I'll Maybe not that this, picture. Just... Let me get a new picture. Let me just... Okay, that doesn't help me. Let me just go. We'll take this picture of Ungi. This works. Actually, a great example. Great pose, too. Maybe I'll sketch this one out, too. Okay. I don't think Alex is gonna mind if I use his face as a little reference. hard to explain, but... Alright. Alright, we're watching Connie for this lesson mm -hmm. chat. Connie, watch along. Let's go. Okay, so in general, if you have like a face here, you want to start off with a circle like this. Okay. And it kind of helps if you just draw like a line down the middle. I kind of have a guide here because I already am looking at the face, but I actually have to fix that a little bit. You usually want to make sure it's very much lined down the middle nose if you have like actual reference picture, but yeah. Then you can draw like kind of face lines on the side because you see, you know that's how heads work mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so now you have uh kind of like this here okay. but then you could kind of see already where the eye line pose would be so you would have that there in the middle of the lines and then you also usually have the nose line and since it is a real person they have a proper proportioned nose Oh, it's the bottom of the lip. Okay. It doesn't work because it's like a line for a mouth. Yeah. 
It's the bottom of the lip. This is how real people look. And it's generally the same rule of thumb when it goes to anime characters too. Um, but usually you don't... I, I feel like a lot of people don't sketch the, the mouth line. They would sketch it a little bit higher for, for anime mouse. Yeah, because I feel like mouse, um, so. anime mouse are much closer to the nose. Mm. In comparison to real people. In general, that's like a rule of thumb when you make make them faces uh, to make them proportionate. Okay, so mm -hmm. for me, this axis face should be something like. And uh, like another oh, like real much. anatomy trick is it's like the eye, how big someone's eyes is, it's about the same from where you're like nose and the top of your mouth will be and the same mm -hmm. thing for your, like your chin the bottom of your lip is the same like proportion of your eye part so here let me explain this um i was just racing it but basically um this distance here is the same like like it would be the same for, for all like three parts like all the way down your face Oh, I see, yeah. Eyes are used- basically, heads are used for measuring the whole body, and then eyes are used, usually used for measuring face proportions. And in general, like, sometimes it's different, because every face is different, but you, you get it. Hmm. Hopefully. Hopefully. You, you I think know. you'll you be able to understand it. My, sh my stupidity would surprise you. Oh, wow, that's... I really should have used a picture that had a nose. I just... I can't install the picture right now. <laughs> Okay, if we were to actually do it and not use Alex's face for a second, it would look something like... This... And then it would... And I would... I would... would and then I would bring the chin down. Like... Um, like this. The <laughs> Theoretically. But I mentioned that I can't actually, yeah, like, like um, do measurements in my head. I, I, I would suggest, like, doing the middle line first, so you know where your chin, um, chin would be. Oh, uh, okay. That makes more sense, yeah. So you do, like, a circle first. If you, like circle, this. and then the line. And then you can sketch out like where you want your your face would be and stuff like that. Mm. In my case, draw a singular line because it's the curses of <laughs> having. I guess a you can only draw straightforward faces. <laughs> well, it's easier to draw for now. Maybe one day I'll have a side face and be like, "Wow, from like." If you've broken the curse. Hmm. Chin is slightly cringe, but we sh we shall deal with it. So, something like something like this, right? Or am I doing it wrong? Oh, in chat, we need like abduct Connie. She can't. She can't have any fun. <laughs> we can't let her. I would, I would say, uh, kind of, yeah. But I guess it's a little hard for you to do. Let me kind of sketch an example. I'll, I'll do a straight on face too. And you know, got the V chin. Let's see. Okay. My face is a little bit off, but it's okay. 
But then... Maybe not exactly where the circle is sometimes, just depending on how large you draw the face. But I would say just ha about halfway down the face is where the eyes go. Like that. Then you get the nose, another half down that por proportion, and then you can do the mouth there. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes a bit more sense, yeah. Oh, fuck. In this case, I think that half down would be about here. He has a very large chin. Kind of looks like a caricature of Jakub. It's still a little low for halfway, but oh, I guess it works. Okay. Let's try here instead then. We'll see. Kind of looks like he has metal plating on his head. I'm going to be right back. Okay. Chat, she has to throw up. He's been like talking to me for too long. I have that effect on people. Alright, chat, we've made another abomination. Let's go. Abysmal, actually. Let's do it. Um, What layer is on that I don't want on? Okay, we're just doing the screenshot layer. So we'll just... Okay. So begin with a circle on his own words. And then we bring it down. Okay. Okay. We bring it down. And then I don't have a reference for Connie, so we're going to have to use our noggins chat. Worst thing ever. And then, then from here, we have to bring it up i think is what the next job is we have to bring this bad boy up here and this bad boy up here and then halfway through so about here actually we should be able to draw a line across and that's the eye and then halfway through here i think we draw a line. We conveniently draw a line across, and it's about here on the nose, and then the lip should be about here. And then we wait for Connie, and she comes over, and she sees the artwork. She's like, "Wow, good job!" And then we we're happy again. One second, I'm just. Sorry, it's quite cold in my room. Um, okay. This is where his nose would be, but as I've said several times, Alex does not actually have a nose. Alex, open up VTube. You can see all of the alerts. Oh dear. Well, no one's in my chat. So, Connie's chat. How are you guys doing? Oh, okay.
Hello, welcome back, Connie. I've just been casually waiting a bit. Okay, so I made another head that I think is a bit more proportional. Uh, okay. Let me check it out. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Nice. Okay. I was a draw nose line, despite you know. You can actually try drawing the features too. Maybe the lip line a little higher, but that's fun. Yeah, his lips are actually quite a bit off his... I think his lip line should be where his nose is, actually. Well, he's smirking there, he's smiling. And he has a... Alex's face is like a basically a circle. Compared mm. to like an actual proportionate face. <laughs> and I don't mean that as like an insult, it's just true. He has a very round face. Yeah, true. Want it? Never mind. That's actually nice, that actually. Um, how do I add details? Hmm. You can actually try drawing the face. What? I just realized I forgot to draw a neck. So that's like the other thing that's in this photo. This is neck. Mm -hmm. right. uh -huh. So now we begin drawing Alex's cute little face. Max's eyes are, have a fucking mine in them. <laughs> it just occurred to me. They actually have a flat bottom. So it would look something like... Because no, oh, he's smiling in it. It's his smile line. I think his eyes are always flat though. Mm, let me check real quick. I don't think so, but... You I don't know. have other pictures of that. I just have that one of him smiling. I, caught... I think I was telling him how cute he was to mess with him at one point, and I just took out a picture and showed it to him. I was like, can you really argue that this isn't cute, Alex? And um, I think he had to relent that the model is cute. He said yeah. the model is cute. Mm, they're it not... I guess they're kind of flat, model. but they're not... Like, it's... They're anime eyes, I don't know what they like. They're cartoon eyes, this is how it is. They're not, like, exactly flat, but I guess kind of, yeah. Man, I should... I should figure out how to get money so I can buy a drawing tablet. Um, not that expensive if you get one of the blink swoops. Uh, yeah. I could look at the one that I got, the other one that I have. I just have no form of income. I think I mentioned it before, but I've uh not been having a lot of uh ease getting a job as of late. Yeah, getting a job is always hard. Mm. How much was this for? This one was 35. I think these are a bit this one was... more. This one, actually, I don't. That one's kind of ugly. I guess you could get that one, but it's. Oh, here's a $19 one, even. Actually, I guess you have to find it in Australia because this is US. I don't know if it'll yeah. be available in Australia. It might be, but even then, I'll the shipping the prices will make it a bit not worth it, you know? Shipping always bad, I feel like, for you. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes it's free shipping, and I can't afford it, but 
I remember distinctly there was a fucking a bunch of books that are in my phone. You guys can go to my phone if you want. Um, and I remember I had to like increase the price from like thirty five to seventy five in order to cover shipping. Yeah, that's how I usually heard. I swear that you guys just have the worst ports, apparently. No, we're we're like two continents away, like from everyone. Our no, shipping... but the thing is, I have a friend who orders stuff from Japan and Korea, and the shipping every time for her is worse than what I get in the U.S. Like that's crazy. Yeah, but that shouldn't America. be how it is. That doesn't matter. You guys are closer. <laughs> how does that make sense? It's America. Everyone does extra for America. That's, that's kind of true, but still, it's just, I feel like it's a little ridiculous. I think you guys just need more ports, apparently. Better ports. I should have put the eyes lower. I think Maybe it's just, just an a, a Australian skill issue. <laughs> like, it, the Australian the, skill someone issue. with the eyes. It is. <laughs> Australian needs to step that up. Usually, oh. with the eye line, you put the eyes in the middle of the line. Cause that's oh. what it's supposed to line up to. Oh, that is that... a giant smile. He's really happy. <laughs> He's extremely happy. Today. Did you draw the face on another layer, by the way? Yeah. Cause I was just, I was gonna ask you, yeah. like, take the la like, if you were to put a face around that, that, it, it's, it, <laughs> No, he, he <laughs> has it. I'll undo it, I'll redo it, because one of the eyes is too short. No, no, you don't have to redo it. It looks... I, I'm gonna redo it. It's, it's, just a, a we, it's just... I would never guess it was Alex, that's all. Well, I haven't added, you know, anything that would actually identify Alex. He is like a very popular model, you know. Then we add this eye. And then we make the line too long, so we have to redo it. But we add this line. And this line goes like this. And this is sort of in the middle, but not really. And then we add his. On the bright side, at least it looks like a, a sketch of an eye. Sort of, if you knew you were looking at an eye. Why don't I just... Wait. Where's the middle? That's over there. Okay. I don't know why, but I... Connie, do you use, like, the thing that mirrors your paintbrush Connie did she like out while I was looking away oh she did she fucking crashed she crashed again um one second is she back oh no Oh, she's still offline. Oh, did I crash? No. No, I think I'm still going. OBS, did I crash? No. Oh dear, chat. Connie's dead for now. Um. What will we do now that our beloved ConCon350 Con is no longer present? Uh, then he has eyebrows. Um,
No, his eyebrows are a lot more. Oh, they're flat like his eyes are. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. No, we can just make these actually flat one second. Oh, we need to add the fucking... I need to confront Alex about this, because we were making fun of this in, in My Heart Had Wings. But then I'm looking at it now, and Alex also has those really weird, ugly, um... thingamajigs. Eyelid. Eyelid. And this is little helmet hair and sort of this sort of, it sort of looks like this a bit. And that wraps round and up like this. And it's stopped by his ear, so I mean, like like that. We just, we just bring it around. Wow, that's so fucking ugly! Holy shit! We're lining this bad boy because Axe's ears are literally two lines. Oh, well, actually, they're three lines, but still.
Um, so Connie isn't here at all. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's not good. So we're just going to finish this and then I'm going to wait for Connie to come back or if she even is coming. She hasn't like, she hasn't sent me anything. So I'm assuming that she's still off, but she might just have been away. How brought me her stream ended. She said she was going to like the bathroom or something. She might have. She might not realize that. Um. That. The stream. Crash. But she's dead down in Discord. I can't believe evil. Maybe evil can't even finally struck her down. That might be it. Um, what is this hair even like? Oh, I pushed it way too low. His hair actually uh, is above his chin. So let's redo that. I wonder what Alex thinks of me just exclusively doing fan art of him. Almost everything I do is just like some form of fan art of him. you might catch on guys maybe i didn't ask alex if he was gay just because i was thinking about fanboy joke but no there's no way no way i would i would actually and then like pause and time slows down i lean into alex and i call him gay I tell him that I, I, <laughs> it's all, all of now. And then I like, Oh, okay. Yeah. It was very helpful, Connie. Thank you. Connie's in my stream chat. I'm just going to finish this Alex thing, and then uh, I'll close off my stream. What do you think of it? I mean, it doesn't look that good now that I take off the thing that shields your eyes from my abysmal art. But hey, his eyes sort of look okay. Uh, oh no, it's uh, oh, it's a lot worse than I thought. Um, um, that's no good, is it, chat? But we're not saving this one. <laughs> uh, then Alex has a fucking thing that goes for, like down here and throws up. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna close. All right, um, no, I don't want to save any of that. We're gonna quickly one second chat. I just need to figure out where the display capture is. Oh, that's why I never moved it down. All right. Hmm. Sorry about that, Mahili. We've been streaming for about uh, an hour forty-three minutes, so I think we're gonna raid. Uh, thank you all for coming. I'm very sorry about the poor quality of the stream and also the poor quality of my art. 
This is my second time ever doing that. And I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with Carney. And I hope you all did too. Alright, so who are we going to pick the raid? Hmm. Anyone small enough to raid with three viewers? You know, we never really raid Wakana Uta. I've seen them around with... Um... Cat is on. Oh, I sent Cat some really like weird things. I want to see his reaction to it. Actually, I'm gonna go raid Cat. Right, we're raiding Cat. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And I'll see you tomorrow for another stream. I'm very sorry about last night. I just I wasn't feeling very well. All right. I don't have a, like a goodbye word. Life is less beautiful without you all here. Goodbye.